from the launch vehicle, hydrogen tank, to the crew module, to the launch abort system, to the lunar lander systems. Nearly every piece of the new structure that's being designed is being impacted with the hypersizer software. And that to me is the biggest, the most exciting thing I can talk about. It's all about the shape of things to come. Craig Collier owns a small company called Collier Research Corporation in Hampton, Virginia. In the late 1980s, he was working at NASA's Langley Research Center, where he was part of a team that developed software called ST-SIZE. At the time, Collier's team used ST-SIZE for new high-speed aircraft designs. When NASA decided not to continue the high-speed research, Collier had an idea, and in 1996, he licensed ST-SIZE from Langley to start his own company. The first thing we worked on was uh, essentially just uh, trying to establish what we wanted the software to do in the future, and then trying to figure out how much effort would require to get there. ST-SIZE evolved into Collier's own software, Hypersizer. And their first work with NASA began at Glenn Research Center as a partner on a team with NASA and Pratt & Whitney to perform some software integration for an aero project. I think it was the uh, first opportunity we had to be a, a sort of like a team partner. And it was not just us and NASA, but it was actually a major corporation, Pratt & Whitney. So it gave us a chance to be able to use the tool um, and to be able to share the database and to be able to see how they use the tool uh, firsthand. Not long after, Collier teamed with the Air Force Research Laboratory in Lockheed Martin on a design for a long-range strike aircraft. It had morphed into something a little bit more modern than that particular vehicle, but this was an exciting time for us because we were uh, again, part of a three-way connection of, of entities. I mean, it was our company, the tool provider. It was the government agency, AFRL, and this time it was Lockheed Martin, who, you know, has a long tradition of making fighter planes. Coming full circle in 2005, the firm received a Small Business Innovation Research, or SBIR, contract to partner with Langley on structural designs for NASA's crew exploration vehicle known as the CEV. They're the ones that have kind of taken, you might say, the design manuals of the Boeing Corporation or of some corporation or of NASA or something and kind of formalized that into code so you can go to the level of just saying, I want a piece of built-up structure here, like a stiffened structure or a piece of honeycomb or something with beams and stiffeners all together and tell it to size that for you. Since then, Collier has received several SBIR Phase Three awards and several NASA centers are using Hypersizer on almost all aspects of creating the CEV. We use it on programs for Ares and uh, the crew capsule itself and for the preliminary studies we do in architecture studies where you're just deciding what elements to put into a space exploration architecture. So some very upfront uh, structural weight estimating work that's been the the genesis of the kind of need we had here for Hypersizer. The NASA work is also having a positive impact on Hypersizer as it helps build out the software's capability. And a number of commercial aerospace customers are now using it to design their new vehicles. From ST Size and NASA to Hypersizer and Collier Research, it is all about the shape of things to come.